I've been reading the Quran, and I have a lot to say, especially because I grew up as an evangelical Christian. I went to Christian school my entire life. I grew up in the church. Um, I'm not a Christian anymore. I stopped being a Christian when I was like 18 or 19. Oh, so reading the Quran, as well as um, with the genocide that is happening in Palestine right now. I, I want to preface this by saying that I'm not Muslim, I'm Jewish. But I've noticed something, and I'm sure a lot of Muslims have also noticed this, that through, you know, this entire thing with Palestine, so many more people are learning about Islam, and so many more people are reading the Quran. I've read the Quran, I love the Quran, I think it's a beautiful piece of text, I think that it's wonderful, and it has so much incredible history in it, just like so many different spiritual texts and religious texts, but like... I literally just started reading the Quran out of curiosity, and now i'm hooked <laughs> literally i started reading it because i was so curious about what is this faith that the palestinian people have it's something so deep and so profound that i literally i was just drawn to learn more about islam so I started reading the Quran the other day and I swear it's answering the exact questions I had in my mind about what's happening in Palestine right now. Like how can God allow these things to happen? And so I'm reading here from the Quran, the first chapter, it says here, God is not unaware of what you do. And it says, when you Israelites killed someone and tried started to blame one another, God brought to light what you concealed. Literally, there was um, a hospital that was bombed and Israel tried to blame Palestine. Um, they said that Hamas bombed themselves and it says here, God brought to light what you concealed. And the truth came out later about what actually happened and that Israel claimed that they did it and then they took it back later when they saw all of the destruction that happened from it and from the public outcry. And Y'all are about to get a lot of converts. <laughs> Y'all call them reverts though, right? That's really interesting like reverting to Islam. That's really interesting. That's an interesting concept to me. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of people turning to Islam soon. <laughs> I've seen people be like, wow, this is really interesting. <laughs> Honey, you're next. <laughs> to know if I'm meant to be a Muslim before I tell my family. And I have decided that I do want to be Muslim. Do you guys notice anything different about me today? Hold it. Anything? Guys. And another thing that I really, really needed to hear, um, it says here, um, yeah, you shall not shed each other's blood nor turn your people out of their homes. You consented to this and bore witness, yet here you are slaying one another and driving some of your own people from their homelands. literally exactly the situation that's going on right now is spoke about in the quran in the first chapter like it literally answered my questions that were on my mind and like i feel peace in my heart and i'm not muslim i'm actually christian and i just started reading this out of curiosity so I haven't done my shahada yet, but every single time that I have to give you guys a new Gaza update, I get closer and closer to Islam. I don't have anything else that's bringing me peace right now but the Quran. Uh, I just did my first salah from all of your help, and I literally started crying at the end when I started to make dua. Like, I've never felt this, like, just much, like, emotion in my heart and peace. 
and like you know it's just overwhelming and uh i just want to say thank you to everyone who sent me support and such kind words about my my journey of learning about islam and i want to also thank you guys for for being patient with me because i'm just starting to learn and it's so beautiful and amazing how all of the muslim family is so supportive of anyone who wants to learn and anyone coming in and i just feel like it's just a big warm hug you know like i feel like god sent all of you to just share and like love everyone who wants to learn about islam and i think that's really beautiful اشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا رسول الله that i basically when i did that video became muslim and i i'm okay and i'm serious about becoming muslim i'm i'm very serious this is i was a devout atheist before But I've done so much research on the Muslim faith and it's so beautiful. So <laughs> بيتي هنا أرض هنا البحر السهل النهر لنا وكيف بوجه النار أساوم سأقاوم عدوك يا وطن دحر عليك الكون ما قدر قام الشعب جنون الريح تحدى الخوف والخطر عدوك يا وطن دحر وعليك بلادي لأساوي الحق سلاحي وأقاوي أنا فوق جراحي سأقاوي أنا لن أستسلم لن أرضخ وعليك بلادي لأساوي بيتي هنا أرض هنا البحر السهل النهر لنا وكيف بوجه النار أساوي سأقاوم عدوك يا وطن دحر عليك الكون